Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm going to wing another one here. Some, something worth, worthy to reporting. Uh, click this lower box down here so you can get the full screen view. Here's the highest solar wind number I've seen uh, to date. Got 1,893 kilometers per second. Happened just after midnight UTC, 31 minutes, which is about 7.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did the calculation, 1893 times 2236.94 miles per hour equals 4,234,527 miles an hour. And I found it kind of curious that the conversion of kilometers per second to miles per hour is the same as the 2236 22,236 mile geosynchronous orbit, or close anyway, the numbers sort of correspond. Uh, it struck me anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, these solar wind numbers are from Nemesis. They're not from ACE. They're not from our sun. They're not being measured by ACE or DISCOVER. They're being measured by these GOES 13 and 14 and I believe the 15 satellites in this geosynchronous orbit of 22,236 miles above the Earth. <clears throat> so there you go. There's 1893 at 1, just after midnight. The event started at 07. So at just after midnight, 3 minutes, it was... 608 you can see the chevrons starting to form usually when those chevrons start coming around something's gonna happen from just just from casual observations that i've made it stuck out to me anyway and i know i've pointed it out in several videos <clears throat> there we go here's the beginning 11 1188 these are four minute increments 1568, 1756, 1275. Let's see if they're still stepping in four minutes. Yeah. 1275, 1441, 1611. There's the 1893. Holy smokes. I mean, they're all high. What's, what's a million uh, miles per hour, give or take? But anyway, this is all happening around our planet, inside the magnetopause, inside the magnetosphere. It's being measured by these satellites. They're only 22,236 miles above the Earth. They got all this backside pressure coming in from Nemesis. You can see it here. Constant pressure. It's pushing this bow shock, false bow shock in the back. See how it squares it up? You can see it represented there, how it gets squared up, and it's getting tossed around and sometimes broken, and then the radiation leaks in even more than it already has. Now, I got these two sync. They're running together. There's like a couple hours of missing time here and there for whatever reason. Let's keep stepping this through. 16, 19. 983, 1223. So, so far this event's lasted 44 minutes. 1135. Look at the, I mean, it's just totally blown. I mean, it's blown. Everything's just blown. It's one color, and it's one color coming in this way, too, which I find that kind of odd. There's the chevrons. Chevrons out here too. I think that's when some serious magnetic flux action is taking place. There it is, 1031. There's the plasma starting to try to come back in. The blue, dark blue. There's 885 at 103. 817. 745, you see the plasma is all over the place. There's a big discharge. Let's see. We got 
one minute increment there so you know they knew something was going on from 107 went to 110 and then they only went a minute forward <laughs> usually it's four minute steps so whenever you see that I don't know that just tells me that they're taking a closer look anyway it's 123 okay then it's went down for a short time and then here it is picks it back up again at uh, 219 it goes up to 855 1462 at 223, 1216, 227, 1336, 231, 1033, 233, 1078, only went up two minutes, 235, and then went back to 962 and 851. That was pretty much the end of it there. So I'll get this sync back up and let it run with the other one. I'm just going to let these run. They're going, I got the full 300 frames pulled up. There's really no missing time. So going back about 16 hours. And these three are all synced here. But on yesterday's video, Jason Hart, he made a comment. It said he was watching these uh, polar cap build lines. Primarily the northern ones. And it looked like maybe they were starting to link up with Nemesis in the back. I never really had noticed it before, but if you look close, it looks like it could be trying to happen. These streamers, these black ones. But all these field lines here, I mean, that's clearly to me that's from nemesis and i'm going to show you why i think that here in a minute but the blue ones for sure are i mean and look at all these ones this seems like we're almost in the well let me show it to you now well let's pull this through real quick so this event began at 07 I mean, look at it. I'll oh, just let it play. Wow. <sighs> That's crazy. So we'll just start this back again and sync for a minute anyway. And I'm going to show you something else here, which is pretty cool. So I remember seeing stuff about the sun before, <clears throat> since we've been talking about Nemesis for so long, and it's in fact a uh, binary twin to our sun. I tried pulling up some uh, things on, uh, found it on Iswa under solar. And these are representations of magnetic fields around our sun. I'll let this one run. It's the most simplified looking one. I don't see any blue field lines for some odd reason, but um, see all these sort of a matrix of uh, field lines. It almost looks like some kind of a geometric pattern. Then you have a different representation here. These two are actually time sync, but there's a lot of missing time. There's no sense in really running them together or running them at all. As a matter of fact, because I just wanted to show you what's coming off our sun as far as the magnetic field lines go. And I think these are the polar field lines, like the polar cap ones on Earth, for instance. But there's no solar wind to uh, that's hitting the sun to cause them to stream in any direction. So they just 
flare out every which way, top and bottom of the sun. But what I think we're encountering is Nemesis's streamer field lines. These ones out here. These ones out here. Because they seem to be pretty symmetrical. And every once in a while when we get these high solar wind speeds, we get hooked up with a coronal hull stream from Nemesis. And since Nemesis is uh, supposed to be a brown dwarf, which is uh, only maybe four to five times the mass of Jupiter, and even though Jupiter is our largest planet, it is a gas giant. So, I mean, clearly the Nemesis would be way, way smaller than our sun. But, I mean, you can see what's going on. We've got some violent stuff happening. Well, let me show you real time on Discover real quick. So, like I pointed out yesterday, the uh, Phi connection flipped, and now we're running pretty much straight. I'm looking at the blue here. Pretty much a straight connection backside with Nemesis. That's the predominant connection within the uh, four solar, or the four at least four plant, four bodies, Nemesis, Earth, big planet or planets that passed Ace on October 16th, and our Sun. We're all four connected, but right now the connection's running strongest from Nemesis through all, all these others, out toward, out to the Sun. And you can see once this, once the connection gets established and steady, you can see everything kind of flattens out. Density's back to normal. Everything's cool. We got a bunch of little gaps here. They're no more than like two hours. Sometimes they're only seven or eight minutes on Discover. And I'm already running out of time here. Let me show you Ace. We still got another 10 hour gap today on Ace. You can see this is a seven hour plot or seven day plot. So you can see the gap started on the 5th. It was about eight hours there when I showed you it was 10 yesterday and it's 10 today. So all these stuff showing up on MLSO, I think it's gapping out these satellite data collections to the earth stations. That would be my hypothesis. We've got several objects up here. There's a big one somewhere. I'm not sure if we're seeing it on here. But this is MLSO run yesterday. It's about 100 frames. These are 7 seconds shy of 2 minutes on these time lapses. Let it run through for you. You can see they're moving for sure. So right now, we're in a quiet... Well, not necessarily quiet, but but stable with that stable connection with Nemesis. Here's the geospace. There's the pressure in the last three, four hours. So we're getting a lot of pressure back here. And you can see the double bow shocks out here. There's the density. We're not getting a lot of waves coming from that big planet. So that connection with Nemesis is pretty strong. It's, I think it's yeah, it's just pretty strong. I don't know. It lends to a more stable or steady environment right now, anyway. But of course, we saw those freaking high solar wind speeds inside our magnetopause, and there's the uh, velocity. So I'll let this play through again. Might as well drag it. Whoa. Now you can see pretty violent crapola going on here. So watch the field lines out front. That's the big planet. And I'm already running out of time here. So God bless. Peace. And I'm out.